Yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy Vibe and today I'm going to show you how to download the Duck Station emulator for Xbox Dev Mode. In the description of the video, I'll have all the files necessary to get this running. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is at the bottom right where it says Remote Access, click on the Remote Access Settings. Make sure the Enable Xbox Device Portal is checked, and then if it is, at the bottom where it says Authentication, you can click on this and set up a username and password so that when you go to the Xbox Portal, if anybody by any chance has your information, they would be allowed to drag things onto your Xbox as well. So if you set up a username and password, this will prevent that from happening. And then once you have done that, at the top underneath Enable Xbox Device Portal, you will have two different browser links that you could search. I right, bet now all all we have to do is type in one of the two links into our web browser on PC and we're gonna do that right now all right so I open up my Google Chrome now for one of the two links it gives you just type it in for me the first link usually never works I have no idea why but they provide two links just in case and then just click enter you may be greeted with a screen like this if you're doing this on Google Chrome all you would have to do is click on advance go down to the bottom go to proceed and if you set it up the authentication, it will ask you for the username and password. So just type this in. What you got to do is go down to the settings, press the right bumper four times. One, two, three, four. You should get to this BIOS settings tab. Go down to BIOS directory. Click on parent directory. Click on this a couple times and you should see all the drives. I plugged mine into the front of the Xbox. So that should be the D drive. So I'm going to click D drive. Go to my PlayStation 1 folder. Look for my BIOS folder. And then I'm going to click use this directory. So you just set up your BIOS directory. Um, what you can also do is if you hover over to the display settings, aspect ratio. If it's not on auto, you can put it on auto. It would just adjust to any screen you're on. So it'll go full screen. But you could also set it up for 4x3, 16x9, and so forth. So I recommend doing auto. And then um, at the bottom, you can enable... FPS to display the FPS so you can also do that show resolution a lot of the on-screen displays um, if you go to the enhancement settings tab you will see the internal resolution scales this is where you can buff up the resolution um, I'm on the series X I've been testing it out at 16 and it works phenomenal at 60 FPS so that's why I've been doing so far I haven't had any issues but if you are playing a game and you're having issues with the resolution bumped up Switch it down and uh, try that. All right, once you get that finished, um, if you need help getting games, I could help you in the comments. But once you have games, what you could do is on the second tab, there's an add search directory. Click on this. Click on parent directory all the way till you see your drives. Go to your drives. Look for your PlayStation 1 games folder. And then click on use this directory. And then when you press B, anytime you go to the open game list, you should see your game. And right here, we're going to test it out. Hey, hey, hey. What Digivolve, Predamon? Digivolution. Digivolve, Digimon. Digivolution. Ready, rumble. Mm -hmm. 